Sometimes people put their feet too far out, put their feet too far forward, as in close to the body, or their chest tends to rise up and they're going into their low back. Ultimately, you're going to want your knees directly under your ankles at the top portion of the lift. So I'll demonstrate that now. Notice how I'm not lifting my chest, I'm letting my ribs come out. This is another way that people tend to overactivate the hamstrings and underactivate the ribs. Notice my feet are too far away, causing a bigger angle at the knee than is ultimately necessary. On the other hand, your feet could be too close, causing the opposite problem and using way too much quads. This way, you start to form neurological connections 
that can transfer to many aspects of sport and performance. Sometimes the equipment in the gym is limiting in allowing you to use the full range about a joint so you can properly overload your muscles and continue to reach your goals. So using a step is one way to achieve a deficit, which is a greater than normally achievable range of motion. Commonly though, people will perform this incorrectly by not actually using the full range that the equipment offers. So something like a reverse lunge with a deficit would be incorrectly performed by not going to the full range that is permitted here. If you notice, this is the same as doing it on the floor without the step. Not offering any additional benefit. If you want to use the deficit, you're going to want to perform the lunge with a full range coming almost down all the way to the ground. Another note, when you do not use the full deficit range, you're not able to achieve the full flexion at the hip. If you notice, my knee is not bending to its full potential here, as it is here. When I use the full range with the deficit, my hip reaches full flexion, and so does my knee. When you're in the gym, you're not going to want to use strange equipment to overcomplicate the classic exercises that are already designed to improve your strength and your muscle size. I'm going to demonstrate a lateral raise on a BOSU ball. You can see that there's a large energy cost for me to try and maintain stability in this position but I'm trying to improve strength in my deltoid muscle. It would be much more advantageous for me 
to stand on a stable surface with correct form and isolate at the shoulder joint so that I can progress the weight over time with stability and power. <laughs>